To begin, remove the cover from the microscope. Be aware that the microscope is heavy. Hold the microscope with one hand on the handle and the other hand on the base. Move and place the microscope in front of you towards the edge of the bench. Don't drag the microscope because vibration will loosen the lenses and damage their alignment. Connect the microscope to the power. Sit down and adjust the seat height so that your eyes are just above the eyepiece. Turn on the microscope. The light intensity is controlled by the dial under the power switch. Rotate the course focus knob to bring the stage to the lowest position. Make sure the microscope is set to the lowest magnification using the 4 times objective. Rotate the nose piece if needed. Don't rotate by holding the objectives. The chosen objective is placed pointing downward towards the light source. Gently open the swing arm and place a prepared slide onto the stage. Make sure the slide is secured with the swing arm holding it in place. Looking into the eyepiece, adjust the width of the oculars to suit the width of your eyes. It is important that you see the image with both of your eyes. Make sure the ring on the left ocular is set at zero. Looking down into the oculars, Focus the image to the sharpest for your left eye by first rotating the coarse focus knob, then the fine focus knob. Then focus the image for your right eye by turning the ring on the right ocular. By doing this, the difference of focus between your eyes can be compensated. You can adjust the light intensity with the light dial or with the iris diaphragm on the condenser. The lever and the condenser is used to open or close the iris diaphragm which controls the amount of light from the light source to the slide. Adjust the light until it gives you the best image. The condenser is used to focus the light from the light source onto the micro slide. It should be placed at the top position for most of the slides. Use the stage knobs to position the sample in the centre field of view before changing the magnification. Increase the magnification by using the 10 times objective. Focus the image first with the coarse focus knob and then with the fine focus knob. You may have to open the condenser iris diaphragm to allow more light in for a good image. This microscope is par focal. The focal distance between objectives is very similar. When there is a change of objectives, only fine focus is required. The reason that we don't lower the stage before changing to a higher magnification is that it's possible for the objectives to hit the slide. The coarse focus knob should not be used when using 40 times or higher objectives to prevent the objectives from hitting the slides. It's very important to place what you want to see in the centre field of view because when you increase magnification, the image size increases but a smaller area of the object is covered in the field of view. It may fall out of the field of view if it's not centred first. The depth of focus also becomes smaller when magnification increases. This means that it's more difficult to focus an image at high magnification. If we want to look at the slide at high magnification, we need to increase the magnification step by step and focus the image at each stage. Cameras are installed on our microscopes. If you want to bring the image to the camera, pull the camera pin out. Part of the light will go to the camera. When you finish with the microscope, push the camera pin in, set to the lowest magnification, remove the slide, turn the microscope off and put the cover back on. Lift the microscope with both hands and place it back in the middle of the bench.